Oh, right there, big flounder, guys. Oh, man. Woo! Man, check out this stud right here, right there on the Power Prawn Junior. Man, gorgeous fish. So I wanna show you guys the retrieve that I'm using today. Very, very simple. The water is not moving really fast. So all I'm doing, guys, is throwing it out there and giving it a couple little bumps, just like that. See, watch the rod tip. All I'm gonna do is a couple little bumps like that. I wanna make this look like a very, very easy meal. And that Slam Shady Jerk Shad by Z-Man with that material, it's just kind of bouncing and flowing just like that on the bottom. I've got that quarter ounce to make sure I'm getting down to the bottom. And I'm just kind of sliding it and bumping it on the bottom. And it's been a really good presentation for today. Got him. Ooh, yeah, nice one right here. All right, look at that. Pretty flatty right there on the Power Prawn Junior. Just made a switch uh, to that smaller bait. You know, I get that question a lot of when to use a smaller bait versus a bigger bait. Well, you can see right now this water is barely moving. We're just about at low tide. So a lot of that bait isn't really moving around a whole lot either. So the fish has not been very aggressive. So I switched over to that Power Prawn Junior right there. And man, this guy nailed it on like the third cast and beautiful flounder. So when you throw these lures out, go ahead, let them get to the bottom. That's more natural. And just have a really slow swim, just like that. And if you want, every once in a while, give it a little bump, just to you know make a little bit more tension. But you're not wanting to go too fast with this. You're just wanting to crawl on the bottom. For one, that's where most of these fish are gonna be feeding, right on the bottom. And if they see a shrimp just kind of crawling on the bottom, moving slow and swimming, that's a really natural, good presentation. As you can see, I caught a ton of flounder already so far. Oh, yeah. Whoo! All right, look at that pretty fish. All right, that's what I'm talking about right there, guys. That is a absolute stud of a flounder. Gorgeous. Got another one right here. Yep. All right, another flatty. All right, so that water and current starting to really come in now and it's really turning that bite on. So guys, I went ahead and switched to this five inch profile bait. Again, like I was saying earlier, once that bite turns on, there's a little bit more current. I really like using these bigger baits because those fish are a lot more turned on, bait starting to really move around and this gets noticed a lot more. And it turns out to be close to a six inch bait profile with that trout eye on there. So same retrieve with this guys, just throw it out there, let it get to the bottom and just bring it back a couple little bumps as at a time real slow making sure you're maintaining contact with the bottom and that's what's been getting these fish here we go right there see just like that guys just like that yep oh not like that you got to get him in but we weren't going to keep him anyway right there guys oh that's a good one Woo. yep oh man <laughs> Oh, that's a good fish right here. Really good flounder. All right, guys, so real quick, I did want to show you the two lures that I was using today and why I chose these two lures specifically. And it really comes down to one, tide cycle, and two, the retrieve that I was using with each one. Now, when I was first fishing, it was more of a low tide scenario. There wasn't a lot of current movement or anything like that. And the bite was honestly just a little bit slow. So in situations like that, that's when I like to pull out the power prawn. Right here, this is an awesome bait. I mean, gosh, it looks just like a shrimp. And right now the shrimp are running really, really well. So it's a natural presentation uh, this time of year. However, what I really, really like about this is how slow you can move this. And a lot of times it's a very, very simple retrieve, guys. You saw me, all I had to do is throw it out there. Once I cast it out, just let it go and sink to the bottom. Once it's on the bottom, just a very, very slow crawl uh, of a retrieve you know you can do it with the reel or sometimes you can even kind of drag it a little bit with the rod very very simple but on those kind of lower uh, current stages and that low tide period where it's just not as good of a bite as it would be if there were some faster current this is an absolutely killer lure to use 
All right, so the second lure you saw me using that I have used a ton a lot lately, and it's very similar in profile when it comes to a shrimp and things like that, but it can also even imitate a little bit, you know, your finger mullet or things like that. That is the Slam Shady 5-inch Z-Man Jerk Shads. So guys, this is a phenomenal lure, and I really like when that current starts to move a little bit more and that bite really starts to turn on, this is a great bait because you can do a lot of different things with it. You know, you guys, you saw me just basically throwing it out there, having it on the bottom, and it looks just like this on the bottom. And I was just bumping it along super slow, but as that water current started picking up and the bite started turning on, I actually started swimming this a little bit and they were nailing it on that because they were just a little bit more aggressive. They didn't mind coming up or going a little bit further away to chase this bait where normally like on that low tide stage, I would have to use that power prawn and go right in front of their face and do a lot of casts with this. It's a big profile bait, it gets noticed. And by the time you put this trout eye on here, this is a quarter ounce. I do like it being a little bit heavier so I can maintain that contact with the bottom. Uh, this is close to a six inch profile bait, which if you're fishing for flounder, that's really what you want. You want a bigger profile bait, especially if you wanna catch bigger flounder. They're just not typically gonna go after your two and a half, three and a half, even four inch baits near as much as if you've got a bigger bait like this that's almost six inch inches go right in front of their face they are going to pounce on it i'm telling you guys they really really like those bigger profile baits and guys remember check out fishstrong.com if you want either one of these lures that i use today and much more tackle on there and remember if you're an insider member you can get up to 20 percent off and i hope you found these tips helpful guys it's definitely something that i've been having a lot of success with and wanted to share with you but if you have any questions or if you have any other favorite lures or baits that you like to use for flounder in the summer be sure to leave them in the comments below and if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online club for saltwater anglers, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it, and we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this with our premium education, the exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.